From a base coat of Wraith Bone Spray, paint all of the armored areas with Levide and Blue, making sure it settles in the recesses. Don't worry so much if it pools in the flat panels, as they will be overpainted in the next step. Also try to avoid the gun and the helmet at this point, because they will remain a bone colour. Once this is dry, paint all of the flat panels with a crag blue. Even thin layer should cover this in almost a single coat as it's blue on blue and McCrag blue is a base paint. to paint the face plate at this point as well. To start the camouflage pattern, dotting Cantor blue across the flat armour panels, um, keeping the dots quite small and covering about a third of the overall flat surface of the model. Um, because it's an infantry model, the dots do need to be quite small for the effect. On vehicles, you would end up doing larger. Repeat this step with a Lady Yacht Blue, again covering about a third of the flat panels, and these can overlap with the previous Cantor Blue. On review of this model on completion, you could probably go a bit brighter and darker with these colours, so maybe mixing in some black with the Cantor Blue, and mixing in a Lady Yacht and Hoth Blue with a 50-50 mix. But to be honest, the end effect being quite subtle still looks quite nice. Also highlight the face plate at this time with Lady Oak Blue. To complete the blue armor, edge highlight with Hoth Blue. Um, keeping as thin as possible as the thinner the edge highlight the more of an impact the camouflage pattern will have and using the edge of the brush where possible.
use Wraithbone to paint over all of the bone areas, so the helmet and the gun, um, covering over any overspill and giving a smooth finish before the next step. In addition, the tags on the clasps, I guess, on the legs and the arms are painted with this colour at this time. Take out the cabling on the gun and the central barrel of the gun with a baton black. Recess shade the gun with a mix of skeleton horde and a small amount of contrast medium. You could of course paint this over the entirety of the gun, but then you'd have to pick out the flat panels afterwards. This probably ends up saving a bit of time by just painting the deeper recesses and around any of the raised detail. Edge highlight the bone areas with white scar. Again, where possible, using the edge of the brush, which is a latch to a lot of different parts on the gun. But any areas we have to paint it as a straight line, just take it slow and paint as thin a line as you can. Any lines that are too thick, you can always correct with wraith bone afterwards. Also, using this color, I ended up mixing in a small amount of wraith bone because I found the pure white a bit too stark, but it ended up not no looking noticeably different. So you could just use the pure white scar. Edge highlight the black areas using Mechanica Standard Grey. Now that he's suitably camouflaged, let's give him a bright yellow hat, starting with a base coat of Uriel Yellow over the helmet areas. Recess shade any raised detail with Iandin yellow contrast paint. Edge highlight the helmet with phalanx yellow, all of the sharper edges, and any of the raised detail. Complete the yellow with small dots at the most prominent corners with Dorn Yellow. Base coat the entire lens with Mephiston Red.
into the front half of the lens with Evil Sun Scarlet. Dot a small amount of Fire Dragon Bright right at the front of the lenses. For a quick way of doing the gemstones, start with a base coat of Stormhole Silver. I've linked above a more detailed tutorial on gemstones. Pick any gold parts of the model out with Retributor Armor. Paint the Stormhole Silver gemstone with Blood Angel's Red Contrast. Paint the gold areas with Gollum and Flesh. You could highlight these afterwards with Stormhole Silver if you like. And this is the finished result. If you like this tutorial, feel free to check out the channel where I have numerous other videos and if you want to be kept up to date, please consider subscribing.